Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with John Jeremiah. And the enterprise going mobile can be a challenge, no matter how you look at it. But you've got five steps that I understand will help optimize enterprise mobility. Well, Jake, it, it's a challenge, right? The, when you look at it from an organization's perspective, they're worried about security, they're worried about how do they make devices available, how do they control devices, and often they make compromises. And, and I, we think that there's a number of different steps to get past that, to create a mobile enterprise without compromise. So the first step, right, start with the users. Your users are the reason you build applications. Too often, we build mobile applications because we think we need it, because we're trying to keep up with the Joneses. We're not focused on the users. So it's a user-first world. It's not mobile first, user first. And I, and I like that because as a, as a mobile user inside the enterprise, uh, it can be very frustrating when it feels like IT has put so many roadblocks in the way that you can't actually use your device to get work done. <laughs> well, I agree, and, and it's, it's one of these things that I, when I've been in IT, IT is often perceived as the department of no. No, you can't do this. No, you can't do that. We've got to think about how does IT become an innovator and a partner with the business. So we focus on the users first. The second thing that's really important from a mobility perspective is the mobile life cycle, it's different than the traditional life cycle. Now sure, we're building software. There's all the basic steps are there, but mobile is iterative and fast. So you've got to have a process that allows the, the IT team to be agile and to move quickly. Because I don't know about you, but if, when I get an app and I see that the last time it was updated was in November 2012, my expectations are awful low as to whether it's going to really work and whether it's going to meet my needs. So agility and speed is a second key element. A third element is quality. The team building the application has to embrace and understand what happens on the phone and on the device. It has to work right the first time. So if they ignore quality and they roll it out hoping that they'll just fix it fast, speed, there's a trade-off here. But they've got to have an approach that allows them to know with some confidence that this app's going to work okay for the majority of their users. Security is another key element. I mean, now I think security is often placed as the first barrier. The lawyers, the department of no says we can't do this because mobile is scary. We're afraid of all of the bad risks. But you know, if an organization is mature and understands the value of their data, the value of their applications, they can make the right trade-offs in the balance and put security where it belongs, around the apps and the data. We don't have to lock down the whole world. We need to protect what's really most important to the enterprise. And, and the fifth step, really, it's an attitude shift. CIO means chief information officer to a lot of organizations. But in a mobile world, and I've seen this happen, CIO becomes a chief innovation officer where the CIO can become a true partner with the business, bringing a mobile application or a mobile vision that the business doesn't even know they can do. And I've seen it. I've seen it here. I know I have a good friend within HP. He's an IT leader. He called upon a, a team building a mobile app and he went to talk to him and he said, hey, I want to help you with your mobile app and get it going. And after the meeting they said, Mike, I felt like I was being called into the principal's office. I didn't expect you to show up and be as much help and a partner as you were. And that's the potential for IT leaders in the future. If they embrace mobility, put users first, they can innovate with their business and become a real asset to the business to innovate in the future. So that last piece to me seems like what might actually be the biggest challenge is kind of getting people to shift their thinking. How do you get people out of the mindset of IT being the land of no and into this sort of innovative mindset? Change is hard and it's really difficult to get people to think about the potential. Uh, it, it's, it's one that it, it's gradual, it happens over time with some leaders and some organizations, they, they may not get past that. They, they become locked into what's been successful in the past. But as, as new generations of leaders come in and as the market moves, organizations are going to have to respond to it. And they're gonna to have to figure out how to deal with it. And it's either going to be a disruption that they do to the market or that is done to them. One way or the other, the future will be different where users are, are using devices and apps and solutions that IT hasn't even thought of. IT has to become an enabler. 
IT has to become a, a broker of services and help people be productive wherever they are, whether it's their mobile device or their wearable or their drivable or their flyable device that they want to use, that they need to use to get their job done. IT has to be prepared to help them. I want some flyable devices to do my job. That sounds like fun. Yeah, flyables I think are in. But no, seriously, if, if imagine, a, uh, imagine a construction worker or an architect or a surveyor who realizes it'd be really useful for my surveying job to have an aerial view to get my job done faster. They're not expensive. All of a sudden, you have people bringing their personal flyable devices into work. It's not that far-fetched. No, that's not far-fetched at all. So, um, so, so the future is here. Oh, the future is here, and it's happening faster than we know. Uh, and and I, I, I've been thinking about this a lot, and, and it, there's a Queen song that nails it. And the users are saying, I want it all, and I want it now. And that's the problem. We have to be able to deliver. And it requires all of us to rethink what we do and to deliver in a way that the users are first, that we go where they are, and we serve their needs.